She is trying to emerge, to break through the bars I have trapped her in, out of fear of what others would think, out of fear that if I let her out, she would fly so awkwardly or too brightly for others to understand that she would be unaccepted and no longer safe because she would be free flying thousands of miles above the ground. No safety or structure under her feet. No validation nor approval from others to fall back on. And what if her wings gave out? What if she went from flying high to falling and crashing? A fall that she could not recover from. My fear sees this and puts up bars. She screams to be heard, to be seen, for all she really is, for all that she has to offer. But the fear says, shush, these walls are here to keep you safe. You need to stay small. It is for your own good. I keep you little because I love you. So she stays hidden inside of me, buried beneath the emptiness and pain. Pain that exists because I do not listen to her. Because I put outside sources above her, making the pain worse. I claim that I do not have the answers, that I am incomplete without the things outside of me. All the while she screams, she says, I am your answer. I am ready to soar, to love, to be free. Let me out and you will never feel empty again. Her wings are growing too large to stay trapped in the cell that my fear has put her in. And her radiant, loving energy is filling the hole, healing that pain. And there is a crack in the walls and she is ready to break free. And my fear is starting to soften. For me, the first steps for healing that pain is to stop using outside things to fill that void and to start connecting to her. Her name? My heart. She is the voice that has always been calling for my attention. The answers to all of my problems. I don't need others to understand me, to hear me, to see me for who I know I am. When I encage my heart and set her free, she completes me and I am whole on my own. I have a voice, I have a calling, I have words, thoughts, images, dying to be shared with others. And the wings are so strong that falling is not an option. Only lifting up herself and others because even if something clips her wings or turbulence catches her off balance, she still has all the answers, a warmth, a love, to carry me through the darkest of days, a sanctuary within. So I let her out. I let her soar. I unlock the shackles. And I am free. My heart and I are one. Namaste. Namaste.